Hi kids, welcome to day 59 of Storytime with Anne. The title of our story today is Lakeside Adventure from your favorite bedtime stories volume 2 by Uncle Arthur. Shall we pray? Good and gracious loving Father in heaven, we would like to thank you for this day. We would like to thank you for bringing us back to story time. May you be with us as we go through today's story. May you help us to learn from it. May you help us to understand it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. It was almost midnight and still they had not found the place where daddy had planned to camp. As the headlights shone around the corner, daddy kept saying, it's pretty close now, maybe just round the next corner. But it wasn't. All the time they were climbing higher and higher up the mountain. Mother was getting more and more worried because she felt that Beverly and Blossom should have been in bed fast asleep hours ago. Surely it can't be much farther, she said. Look, there's, there's the lake down there. This must be the place. You're right, said Dad. That's the lake I was looking for. The camp can't be far away now. I think I'll leave you and the children in the car while I walk uphill and see if I can find it. Don't be too long. I won't, said Dad. When Daddy had gone, Mother stepped out of the car to stretch her legs. Suddenly, in the darkness, she had a f dreadful feeling that the car was moving backwards. She put her hand on it. Yes, it was slipping. She tried to get in it again to reach the brake, but she couldn't. The car was gathering speed by now. She called to Beverly to climb to the front seat and step on the brake pedal, but that didn't help. The car kept moving. Mother then grabbed the front bumper and tried to hold the car back. For a moment, this seemed to help, but the car was too heavy for her and she soon felt herself being dragged downhill. With gradually increasing speed, the car moved nearer and nearer to the edge of the road, beyond which the hill dropped steeply into the deep, dark waters of the lake. Please, dear Jesus, she cried out loud. Don't let it go over the edge. But it went over the edge. First one wheel, then another. A moment later, the front wheels followed the back wheels and the car was plunging headlong down, down towards the lake. Did mother let go? She did not. If my children are going to drown, I'll go with them, she said to herself as she was holding on frantically to the bumper. She was dragged down the rocky slope. The dark water now seemed to be leaping up at her out of the blackness of the night. Beverly and Blossom, sensing their dreadful danger, were crying at the top of their voices while mother was crying out loud, Jesus, save my children. Suddenly, there was a great bump and the car came to a standstill, right at the water's edge. An old tree stump had stopped its headlong fall just in time. Beverly and Blossom told me of that awful night, and believe me, they love their mother. As long as they live, they will never forget how she hung on to that bumper all the way down the hill and was willing to die with them if need be. How wonderful is a mother's love. Did you ever stop to think that your mother would be willing to do the same for you? Of course she would. Why not show her a little bit of love right now? And that, kids, brings us to the end of our story. Let us all show our mummies a little more love. Our verse for today is... Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15. Can a mother forget her nursing child? Can she feel no love for the child she has born? Can a mother forget her nursing child? Can she feel no love for the child she has born? Unfortunately, Auntie Wiza could not be with us 
She has a funeral, so may we keep her in our prayers. So we are going to have a different song. Hi everyone, welcome to Bible Poetry Time with Jiko. Today our poem is entitled Psalm 13. How long, Lord, will you hide from me? Your face, Lord, I no longer see. How long will worry rule my mind before my Lord God I can find? Look at me, Lord, answer me. Don't let me, Lord, defeated be. I rely on your constant love. My praise will rise to heaven above. This is the end of our poem today. Thank you for listening. And that, kids, brings us to the end of today's program. Our prayer focus for today is to pray for the people fighting the disease that God may heal them and help them to recover. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before your throne of grace and mercy, thanking you for the beautiful story and song we have heard today and our verse that have taught us about a mother's love. We want to thank you for all the love that you have put in our mothers. We want to thank you because we know you gave these mothers to us. Lord, we want to thank you for even those other mothers who may not have been our biological mothers, 
but have the hearts of our mothers and do the best for us. Others have mothers that they met in schools. Others have mothers that they met at church. We want to thank you for the love that we receive from all these mothers, dear Lord. Lord, we would like to thank you for our poem today that talks about us running to you. May you hear us every time we run to you. May we always rely on your love and your mercy and your grace. May we always know that you are the person that we are supposed to run to whenever we need help. Lord, we want to ask for you to be with the people that are battling the coronavirus for so that you may heal these people, Lord, and may help them to recover. We know that you are the doctor of all doctors. You are the greatest physician there ever was. You can see what the other doctors cannot see. May you be with them. May you heal them. May you take care of them. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you for everything that you do for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And so from me and Auntie Rico, it's bye.